Hello and welcome back to the NBA DFS Slate Breakdown for Monday, March 18th. We're back. We got another full slate and a full week of NBA to go. Uh, and we only have 10 more days until uh, the big time opening day of baseball. There is some uh, baseball in two nights, but uh, it's only a single game slate. Real opening day is the 28th, 10 days away. And... Before baseball starts, come join us right down there. We got some promo offers, parlay play, sleeper, underdog, chalkboard, all of them. You can get up to one free month of Line Star. Uh, or you can just jump right in and uh, pay the good old yearly or monthly pass $39.99 per month or $239.99 per year, which is saving you a, a good bit of uh, change there. So. Now let's get into it, and let's go over today's slate. So, five games on FanDuel. There are eight games on DraftKings. The three latest games are unfortunately not on FanDuel. Really would have liked them uh, to add those, but they decided not to. So, we will start on point guard. Highest owned, Delano Banton, and he should be. We have a projection of pretty much 6x for him. He is super high owned. And then we got Io and Peyton Pritchard with uh, Caruso right there. I think today is going to be a pretty chalky day. Uh, kind of hard to get uh, a bit different when I did my first run of lineups. Hopefully things change throughout the day. So it becomes a little bit easier to get different. But right now... It is what it is. Uh, Banton has been playing just a ton of minutes lately. 42 and 42 the last two games. That's coming off 19, 22, and then 42. 38 the game before that. So his minutes have been absolutely everywhere. And that does cause, you know, a little bit of concern here. He is 5K. He's got a floor around 20 when he starts. Um, but then a ceiling... That's 10x. So he is somebody we absolutely have to consider. Uh, but your guess is as good as mine as far as the minutes here. And we've seen the Trailblazers mess with their starting lineup a little bit with Henderson back. Maybe Henderson slides back into the starting lineup. Who knows? Uh, but he is coming off the bench right now. And as it stands, Banton does look like he's going to get a decent amount of minutes. Who knows how it actually ends up... Uh, when everything falls, when all the chips fall. But uh, as of now, he looks amazing. Huge uh, 6X, you know, value is always something pretty interesting. And I'm getting over the field. We have met 44, but I bet he ends up being more like 65 or so percent. Uh, Io is coming in pretty high owned as well. He is taking over the point guard with no uh, Kobe White. Played 40 minutes. Um, if you put him at 40 minutes, he's going to look different, decent. He looks okay now versus the uh, Trailblazers. Uh, but I just am getting to a lot more Caruso than I am uh, Ayo at this point. I just think with Caruso steals and his blocks that his ceiling is a little bit higher. And with him being a little bit cheaper, I uh, am going that way a little bit more. Peyton Pritchard, uh, expectation is that he is going to slide into the starting lineup. There's no Drew Holiday. Uh, there's no Al Horford. There's also no Hauser. So no Sam Hauser makes this more interesting. Raises his floor on minutes. Uh, last time he started, he played 30. So if he starts, I think we could count on 30, but he might even get a little bit higher because of no uh, Hauser. So it is an interesting spot. Definitely uh, one that I would be prioritizing if he's starting. Now, if he's not starting, his minutes are probably going to be around that 24-ish, which still make him interesting, but not quite as interesting. Uh, and the one pivot I got, Derek White. Uh, Derek White is off the injury report, so he should be totally good to go. Good for his 34, 35 minutes, something like that. And without Drew Holiday in the lineup, he just gets a big bump up he's gonna have the ball in his hands a lot more uh if Pritchard is not starting it actually help, helps White a little bit more because he will run the point guard not the shooting guard spot but uh regardless the ball is going to be in his hand I do like him 
and uh, both Tatum and Jalen Brown are both uh, questionable there too. So he could get a little more bump up throughout the day. On to DK. Uh, Banton, Pritchard, White, all high owned. We like them all. Um, the one thing I will mention about the DraftKings thing is this late game, the Hawks versus Lakers and Memphis versus uh, Sac is pretty interesting to me. Both of those are. Uh, if, you know, Memphis is able to keep this game close, then that's a game you may want to target as well as if the Hawks are able to keep the Laker game close. The Lakers aren't really a team that blow out anybody, and they're not that great. So uh, it very well could go that way. Um, one, two things that I, you know, just wanted to say that's a little interesting about those. Now, on to the matchup tool, D'Angelo Russell, all up over that uh, matchup tool. He looks great. Mike Conley actually looks pretty good, and I'm surprised I wasn't getting to a little more Conley. Uh, the only reason I'm not is on FanDuel, you know, there's just two point guards. There's no utility or no, you know, guard uh, spot. So, I'm just getting to a little, you know, less uh, Mike Connolly than I really thought I would. I think he's in a good spot, and his minutes are trending to where he's getting a couple more without Cat and definitely gets a little boost without Cat. And then DeHonte Murray is right there as well. So both uh, point guards in this that late game are a little bit intriguing. And onto the shooting guard spot. We got Ayo, we got Anthony Edwards, and Alex Caruso. I am getting to a bunch of Edwards right now. I think he's in a great spot. There's no cat. So that ceiling is just sky high, and he's in a great spot versus uh, Utah Jazz. So definitely intrigued here. Best case scenario is that, uh, you know, Minnesota is down in the first half or something like that and has to come back, and so Edwards plays uh, his full allotment of minutes. And if he does that, he can absolutely crush this slate. I like his ceiling. His floor is high. He's in a great spot. Caruso I like. Derek White I like. And uh, that is it for shooting guard. Moving on to DraftKings. We got Delano Banton, Sam Merrill, Svi, um, Makai Luke is the other high own. So Svi came off the bench, played 23 minutes the other day. There is no Sam Hauser, so he's probably going to slide in and play some more as well. Uh, I definitely am a bit intrigued by uh, Sfi as he is the bare minimum on DraftKings and can definitely get it done. The guy can shoot well when he's uh, feeling it, so don't mind that one. Sam Merrill is a guy that I'm pretty interested in. Played 28 minutes the last two games off the bench think that's probably right around where he's again uh comes in again in this game and he's got the pacers so big time pace up spot uh definitely intrigued with some sam merrill as he can get you 30 in 28 minutes and at 4200 it's uh fairly interesting there on to the matchup tool we got anthony edwards john concar and austin reeves uh Memphis is absolutely interesting. They're beat up again. Uh, they have a bunch of injuries. Really going to have to figure out who you want to play from that team. If they stay into this game, there's going to be a couple guys from Memphis you'll probably want. Uh, and in that case, you'd probably want a Sacramento player as well. So it's a decent game to a uh, game stack. Austin Reeves showing up and Derek White. Let's jump over to small forward. We got Kyle Anderson, DeMar DeRozan, Anthony Edwards, Aaron Naismith, and Jason Tatum. Uh, Kyle Anderson, he started without Cat, and he continues to start. He hasn't really done too much. He played a decent game last game versus Utah, but I, I'm not loving his ownership. I think he's going way higher owned. I think his price is what he should be. He does have a ceiling to get it done, but I really don't love the spot. So, uh, fine getting to a little bit. I'm not getting anywhere near the field. And good old DeMar DeRozan, a guy I keep going back to, and I'm going to continue going back as long as his price is in that low uh, mid-8s. The guy just keeps delivering. 
So I definitely like it uh, and don't mind going back versus the Portland Trailblazers. This is a game that I'm pretty interested in targeting as well, but unfortunately it seems like everybody is. Uh, talked about Edwards already, so we'll talk about Naismith. Naismith, you know, routinely gets extra minutes with one of their wings out. We have uh, Matherin out, so there is that upside to playing 36, 37 minutes. So I'm definitely intrigued by going uh, to him once again in this spot. And he's a guy that we've seen, you know, have the ability to give us a 40 or 50 point score and the path of least resistance for this Pacers team is going through small forward versus the other spots on the team. Uh, Jason Tatum in a great spot with, uh, you know, the injury situation on Boston. He is questionable though. So if he's out, Gonna want to take him out of your lineup, but it does boost everybody else in the lineup. On to DraftKings, we got Harrison Barnes, we got Svi, we got Demar Derozan. Uh, Harrison Barnes, forty-two hundred. He has a nice little upside. Has three games in a row of thirty points at forty-two hundred. So I don't hate that. He also does have you know those rare forty-point games in his bag. So up to ten x. He's playing the minutes. And honestly, his downside is right, you know, mid-teens, high-teens. So nice floor for his price. There's a ceiling for his price. I get why people are going there. I don't love his ownership, though, um, as there are so many different places you can go to get lower ownership at a smaller price um, or similar price. DeRozan, we talked about. Sfee, we talked about. Moving over to the matchup tool. We got Bogdan. We got... Isaac Okoro and Jimmy B all are fine. And on to power forward on FanDuel. We got Kyle Anderson. We got Pascal Siakam and Aaron Naismith. Uh, Pascal is in an interesting spot like DeRozan. He's probably priced a little bit too cheap, uh, but he's just not been as consistent. He does, however, still have that ceiling in the 50s. And lately, he's been around 50 a lot, so definitely uh, a bit intriguing. And if he can play, you know, 36 minutes instead of, like, the 33.5 we have or the 32.8 average that he's had, then it becomes super interesting in this spot. And pivots, Jared, Jared Allen, as we have talked about for a little bit here, he has a giant ceiling without uh, Mobley on the court there is no Mobley right now and going against Miles Turner I don't mind this spot Jared Allen is definitely interesting and should get a ton of minutes and Christoph Porzingis another guy that has that big ceiling at low 8k uh, he's been out for a little while so we do have to make sure he's playing if he is not Luke Cornett is probably going to start and just play a ton of minutes and be an absolute smash value wise and on to power forward on DK, Harrison Barnes, DeMar DeRozan, Precious Achua. I unfortunately just can't go Precious. He's not playing the minutes that he's been. However, he should start again, which could give him that opportunity for minutes. But even uh, then, you know, uh, Bogdanovich was getting a lot of minutes for the Knicks. So I think uh, putting him at 31 is... A little scary because we just don't really know if he's just going to split with Bogdan. We don't know if he's going to play, you know, 36 minutes. It is a little scary uh, as far as to be a high-owned guy. But do understand why you're going there. There is absolutely a path to him succeeding at his price. On to the matchup tool. We got Precious Achua. Very top in a great matchup. Nick Matum, Kyle Anderson, and Haywood Highsmith there. Uh this Haywood Highsmith spot, if he's starting, he looks absolutely great. However, very real chance that he's coming off the bench, and it's Caleb Martin. Whoever is starting in that power forward spot, it becomes interesting uh, for them. And on to the center spot. We got Nikola Vucevic, Jared Allen, Bam Adebayo as the three high owned. I absolutely love Vuce. I think he's in a great spot versus the Trailblazers who aren't good versus center. 
and they're going to want his big body likely against uh, good old DeAndre Aiden. So I think uh, Vucevic can get his versus Aiden. We went over Allen. I like Allen. I also really like Bam Adebayo. Uh, Jimmy Butler is also questionable. So if Jimmy Butler is out, it gives him, you know, a big boost to his floor and his ceiling, just the extra usage and more minutes going his way. So intrigued to go there. And Porzingis is the pivot that we have already talked about. On to DK, DeMontis Sabonis, Precious Achua, Jalen Smith as the three high owned. I think Sabonis is in an absolute smash spot. The one thing you got to worry about here is the blowout. Big time blowout potential. But if this game stays close, you're talking about, you know, one of those games where he is 60 70s with that 80 point upside so definitely intrigued on Sabonis uh my one thing is if I'm going to pay his salary I gotta throw in a Memphis guy with that uh lineup just because the whole way that he gets here is Memphis at least keeps into this game and they definitely have some value you can play but at this point with their you know team we don't exactly know who's going to play who's in who's out But uh, Memphis is one that is pretty intriguing to uh, look into. And reminder that Bain is back. So they definitely could keep into the game a little bit easier than uh, they have been. And on to the matchup tool. Center spot, Isaiah Hartenstein, Rudy Gobert, Bam Adebayo, DeMontis Sabonis there. Uh, Gobert is questionable. So you got to watch for his injury news. But uh, he looks good if he plays Hartenstein. uh, Minutes finally got a 28 last game. He may play a couple extra because of, or sorry, that was against Sacramento. I was thinking he was playing them right now. Uh, Minutes are the whole worry for me for Hartenstein. He's been 20-24 ever since his Achilles injury stuff. And I would be surprised they really give him more. It seems like they are definitely babying him a little bit with a sore Achilles. So don't really love that spot. Do like Bam, do like DeMontis, and that will do it for us today. Another fun slate. I wish you guys the best of luck, and we'll be back tomorrow. Peace.